What's up everybody, it's Roman Gaming here. Today I am joined by a very special guest. Uh, you may go ahead and introduce yourself, Will. How's it going everyone? It's Will Power and I'm here with Robin Gaming. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, I promise you we'd be doing like a collaboration for a long time and we yeah. never really got around to it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, these days, I mean, your channel is doing really well and stuff, so that's awesome to see. And what's the um, better time to do this? Because both our channels have 43,000 subscribers at the yeah, same yeah, time yeah, right yeah. now. <laughs> you'll, you'll have beaten me by tonight though, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man! Anyway, uh, to, so you can quickly, actually, we know, I mean, we can quickly explain to the audience, we know each other already through Uncharted 3, we've, we've played together oh, yeah. um, a couple of times in the past, right, yeah. which was like three years ago now. It's mm -hmm. crazy how long it goes back, we just discussed it for a bit, like playing with people like George and stuff. And Oh yeah, those are some good times, man. Yeah, yeah, my old friend uh, uh, Sama, who I always used to play co-op <laughs> with, my, my yeah. Dutch friend, like it's, it's been... Those were the days, seriously, mm -hmm. like just thinking back. Also, just the YouTube channel, right? The, yeah. the, the stuff we did. It's awesome. But anyway, mm -hmm. um, what we're going to do today is we're pretty much, I mean, just as a sort of like introduction, what we're going to do is we're pretty much going to be talking about our top three games that we personally can't wait for. So it's going to be a different top three from uh, both of us. Uh -huh. And I'd say uh, let's just get into it. Let's go ahead. Sounds good. Let's do it. Okay, so let's start off here uh, with the top three. Will, you can go ahead. Give us your number three. All right, so all my fans will probably guess this. My number three most anticipated game is coming out this year and it's none other than WWE 2K15 coming out on PS4, Xbox One, PC, PS3 and Xbox 360 of course. It's my most anticipated game because after last year's, you know, the game, it was okay. It did well for, you know, the first next gen game but there, I know there was a lot of faults and glitches and just a lack of a good my career but I think it's gonna do well this year around because it's gonna have a lot more improvements and it's gonna have a bigger roster etc so if you're interested in games like that whether it's WWE 2K16 or sports games I know 2016 is gonna be a promising year so I can't wait to see how it does yeah you have yeah. to quickly explain me though will like what does WWE about because I seriously <laughs> know nothing about it I have to be very honest that I know yeah. I know nothing about it yeah I get that a lot a lot of people ask me why do you watch it oh it's fake you shouldn't be watching that you're too old blah 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 but like, we, it, like it's fake right it's fake though right that's that's uh, true. I don't I don't really like to use that term. I think scripted is the better term. But yeah, you can say it's fake. But of course it's planned. The matches are you know they rehearse it a lot. They practice it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you could say it's fake. But I I use I use uh, the term scripted because you know it fits more. Because lots of the but stuff you still that happens. Call it like a sports or how would you describe it? I would call it as a scripted sport. <laughs> I just okay. made that up, yeah, but yeah, yeah, it yeah. makes sense because lots of the injuries that happen are real. When they bleed, sometimes it's real. Like sometimes they self, you know, make their cell make themselves bleed. But lots of accidents happen and right. surprises happen too. Sometimes when people return, I remember uh, The Rock returned not too long ago, and lots of people mentioned that they had no idea it was going to come back. So yeah, it's it's a 50-50 thing. A lot of it is scripted, but some accidents can happen, and when it happens, it, it's pretty real. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm not. I'm not judging or something. I just yeah. don't really know anything <laughs> about it. So, uh -huh. I mean, it always comes across like that. You know, people always say, "Yeah, it's fake. It's fake." Yeah. But, but to me, I was not even. Yeah. I never treated it as being like completely like a sport or something. Uh -huh. I, I guess from what you say now, it's kind of just a sport uh, or a mix between sports and entertainment and exactly. yeah, something like that. Um, but yeah. yeah. Anyway, on to my number three. My mm -hmm. number three is Skate Four. And um, yeah. I'm saying this because I, I seriously love the Skate franchise and this is a game that hasn't officially been announced yet by the way, this is just something okay. that I really want to see happen. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason for it is once again, you know, when I got in touch with Skate 2, I had so much fun. It's it's really also something, you know, whenever I think about it, I'm just mm -hmm. like, man, those were the days, you know. It was yeah. really fun playing a game like Skate 2 back in the days. And yeah. online as well, you had such an awesome community, you know, mm -hmm. just like people, people would always play with headsets. They would always, you know, talk to each other and just yeah. having a fun time. It was always like turn-based, so everybody had their own turn and stuff. We never really played all together at the same time. So everybody was making comments about, you know, the trick somebody pulled off, all that. <laughs> Kind of stuff and that was that was really awesome I, I seriously I really want EA to work on uh, you know on the skate for uh, mm -hmm. because if they do you know they've got my money already I mean I yeah. just can't wait for for a game like skate for mm -hmm. so yeah on to uh, your number two all right so for my number two by the way good choice for skate because I remember playing that game back in the days and those days I didn't really play like shooters so sports yeah. games are mostly what I played open world yeah. games as well so yeah good times it was Anyways. awesome mm -hmm. For my number two, I would definitely say Uncharted 4. I don't think this should be, you know, a surprise for people who know me really well, but yeah, Uncharted 4, it looks really, really promising, and 
As a matter of fact, it happens to be the last Entrada game in the series. Sorry to break mm -hmm. some hearts for those of you who didn't guess it yet. That's what they're saying, by the way. It's not completely like, uh, uh, you know, it's not completely True. real yet. We don't uh -huh. really know, but at, at least North Dog is really pointing out that it's gonna yeah. be the last Uncharted game by them. So I hope, mm -hmm. I hope if North Dog really, if this is the last North Dog Uncharted game, I don't want any other studio to make all our games because I think yeah. North Dog, <laughs> you know, they really know how to yeah. bring it to an end, pretty much. Like honestly, I don't, I don't think I. I don't think it should end. Should it really end? I'm trying to I'm not sure. I'm I think not it sure. should keep going, but I know for damn sure when I start playing the last mission, I'm gonna start crying, man. <laughs> Bring a box of tissues. <laughs> No, oh, but man, for me, it's it's kind of like, should it end? Yeah, it, it depends, because the mm -hmm. thing is, some people already wanted it to end at Uncharted 3, but then I'm just yeah. like, I don't know if you agree with that, but I thought Uncharted 3 was kind of disappointing yeah, compared yeah. to 2, in terms of single player at least. Of course. And, uh, and you you just don't want the series to end if it isn't like at its at its highest peak, if you get what I mean, Yeah. right? So I, I just want Uncharted 4 to be the best Uncharted game that they've made, and then if that's the case, then I'll be completely happy with them, you know, ending the series at, you know, at that point. Yeah, but me yeah. too. Um, so, so I guess, yeah, I guess we can move on to my number two, right? Sure, sure. Okay, so my number two is Mirror's Edge Catalyst, and we just oh, talked yes. about it for a bit. You uh -huh. never played Mirror's Edge, you said? No, but I seen gameplay, and you're the reason that I actually got into the series, because of yeah. your channel, huh? Yeah, it's it's really like the first Mirror's Edge was was a uh, uh, pretty criticized not not really for being a bad game but more for being a short game like there yeah. were, were only a couple of missions. I can beat the game now in like two hours or something. <laughs> yeah. And apart from that, you know, there's not really much else to play. There's some time trials and speed mm -hmm. runs, but it's generally all pretty much the same stuff. Yeah. Um, that that you're playing and Mirror's Edge Catalyst, they just seem to be doing everything right this time. Like it has an open world. You know, most likely it will have like multiplayer where you can race okay. with friends, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, as I said, right now DICE is behind it, creators of Battlefield. You know that, that okay. they can deliver a really yeah. good game. Um, and and I, I put all my faith into, you know, Mirror's Edge Catalyst. No pun intended there, because the main character is <laughs> called Faith. So yes, personally, I think that Mirror's Edge is a game that I'm just going to get back, well, not back into, but I think I'm going to start playing the game, because it looks really good. I see gameplay all the time, and the way Robin talks about it, I definitely can't go by without trying it, at least. Yeah. But um, is it going to be the last game of the series, Robin? Nah, I mean, I don't really know. Like, they, they, they aren't really saying anything about that, but I guess... I guess, you know, if the game will be successful, then I'm sure they'll make actually more games of it. There's okay. nothing really known about it right now, so... And the main character in the game, that's a female, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow, right. she can kick butt, man! <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> oh, but anyways, it's already that time to move on to my number one most anticipated game. It's coming oh, out, damn. I don't know, but I think it's gonna be promising. And that game it's happens coming to out, be, at least. Yeah, it is. Hopefully. And that game happens to be... Can I get a drum roll, please? No, that's that's terrible. You need to edit in a pretty good uh, sound yeah. effect. But anyways, yeah. The Last of Us 2, ladies and gentlemen. Nolan North... Wait, was it Nolan North who uh, spoiled it? Not spoiled, but he revealed it when he yeah, probably should have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but The Last of Us 2, I really want to see how it turns out. Because after a game like The Last of Us, when you beat the game, you're like, wow, that was one of the best games I've ever played. And I don't know how you can go on to continue a story like that, you know? Yeah. No, it's but, true. I mean, for me personally, I, I, I like Last of Us a lot. I think uh -huh. it was definitely one of the best games that came out on like the PlayStation 3. True. And even now, with remastered on the PS4, it's like one of the best games on the PS4 even. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like, yeah, Last of Us 2, I can't wait as well. Uh, yeah. I just, I just, yeah, I don't know. I, like, it's not in my personal top three, mm -hmm. um, but it would be in my top five, I guess, or something. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I'm also really looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't, I don't, I really don't see how they're gonna top that. I mean, after yeah. such an incredible game, it could be. I think it's gonna be pretty controversial. It's it's either gonna flop or do yeah. really well. But you want the sequel to be made, though, right? No, personally, I thought it should end where it okay. ended. But, but you just it, know it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, so. Yeah. Okay. We'll see how it turns out. Let me know what you guys think about that. Yeah, for me, it's just like if you look at Uncharted 1 and you look at Uncharted 2 and the difference between those games. I mean, people said uh -huh. with Uncharted 1, they said that the game was amazing. Yeah. But then they, they topped it in, an, in a way that nobody could have imagined, pretty much, right? Uncharted 2 was just was, was infinitely more better than uh, than Uncharted 1 was. And yeah, and that way I have, I have once again, a lot of faith in, uh, in uh, The Last of Us 2. I think if, yeah. if any studio can top a game like Last of Us, it's Naughty Dog themselves. Of course. Why could they not make a game that's even better than that? They, they could. 
So, yeah, but for me personally, to move on to my number one, it's okay. also a Naughty Dog game, and you've already just mentioned it, Uncharted 4. I mean, oh, I'm, I'm yeah. such a big fan of the Uncharted series. It, it's so, yeah, it's such an awesome uh, franchise, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, you're right, it's most likely coming to an end now, finally, but it's sure looking to pretty much end at a, at a climax, a mm -hmm. real climax for the series, and, um, yeah, what can I say? The thing that, that Uncharted always had, uh, you know, that, that Last of Us didn't have for me personally, is that it had really relatable, well, maybe not relatable, but, but it also had humor and stuff. It, yeah. It, it wasn't too serious. And yeah. <laughs> Nathan Drake is a really funny guy, you know, yeah. it had that stuff, it had the more Hollywood blockbuster type of approach mm -hmm. to it. Um, and I, I like that, that it's a little more light-hearted, you know, compared to something like The Last of yeah. Us, which is really heavy, Oh my I guess. goodness, I used to sweat buckets playing that game, man. Yeah, like, just yeah, running yeah, away yeah. from clickers and stuff like oh, that, right. got me nervous. There's that part in the hotel, remember that? When there's like this big bloater guy oh, coming oh my you goodness. in the dark? <laughs> yeah, terrible. Right. And when they uh, when they introduced bloaters into the game, I was like, hell nah! I know, I know, that, uh, that one fight in the <laughs> basketball court or something, yeah. or what was it? Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, anyway, I mean, Uncharted 4, it's coming to an end, March 2016, it's most looking to come yeah. out. Uh, it's my most anticipated game right now, it's your number two, so I guess, uh, yeah, we're pretty even there. Uh, we just can't wait for the game to come out, but yeah. uh, I think we've already, yeah, we've, we're pretty much done now with our, with our top threes. Um, of course. Wait. Will, thanks a lot. Oh, okay, huh? well, thank you for inviting me, but as you mentioned it, I actually yeah. think that Uncharted 4 would be my number one, now that I think about it. Because I prefer Uncharted more than The Last of Us, and I have a lot of more, I have lots more memories playing the game, right? Yeah. Well, oh, so, we can still change it last minute. There you go. <laughs> yeah, sure. There you go. Boom. Number Will's one. Number one. Uncharted, Uncharted four. Yeah. Now we can completely agree there. So, so yeah. can we promise our viewers that we're gonna have lots of fun uploading Uncharted four content when it comes out? Oh, that's that's for sure. Yeah. That's a given. Yeah. So yeah, this was really fun, man. We should collaborate some other time. We definitely will. Yeah. I'm sure we will. No but, pun intended there either. Ah, <laughs> lots of people <laughs> always do that. <laughs> but Uncharted, dude, like, let's just talk a little bit about our, our old memories, because we used to play that game nonstop. I, I used to come home, yeah. leave my bags, do homework, and just play Uncharted. And those were yeah. some good times, man. Uncharted 3, I bet, right? Multiplayer or something? Or also Uncharted 2. Yeah, and lots of people forget that we both were on Uncharted TV. Like, Robin had his top five plays. Top 10 plays, yeah. Oh, top 10 plays. Those were some good times. I had my top yeah. 5 snipes, so... Yeah, maybe right. we could do that again sometime in uh, Uncharted 4. Yeah, people keep asking me as well, like, are you gonna do top 10 plays for <laughs> Uncharted 4? All I can say is, like, you know, stay tuned, who knows? Yeah. I'm not ruling it out. <laughs> yeah, surprises, man. You guys are gonna have to stay tuned. Yeah. And who knows what's gonna come out next. Totally. So, so thank uh, you so much for having me, man. Yeah, I, no problem. Thank you for having me as well. Oh yeah, true that. So that's that's kind of the way <laughs> yeah. it works. This video is going to be on both channels. So. Yeah, true that. So uh, don't get creeped out when you listen to it a second time. Well, if it's my channel, then uh, thanks everybody for watching. Of course, let me know what you thought. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What your top three games um, that you're looking forward to. And then for now, thanks a lot for watching. Hope to see you again next time. I'm out. Peace. We're out. <laughs> <laughs>